Right boys, what's going on lads? Welcome everybody back to another video. We've got a new foot captain's promo and it looks really, really good. Today we're going to go over the objectives of his foot captain uh, Stindle. Now if you guys are new to these objective guides, essentially what we do, we go over all of these objectives. I'll give you guys my tips and tricks and in the most anticipated part, I'll build you guys a squad builder, a relatively cheap squad builder that you can use to complete this card. If this video does help you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I do also answer a lot of common questions. I've been doing probably well over 100 objective guides throughout the last couple FIFAs, um, so I feel like I do answer the most common questions I do get in the video, um, but if I haven't answered one of your questions in the video, feel free to let me know down below and I will respond. So first of all boys, we've got score two volleys in a live foot friendly, the chosen one. Now I know I, I used to actually have some confusion myself with the volleys, um, it doesn't have to be a traditional volley, literally like it can be any term of the balls in the air and you kick it before it touches the ground. Bicycle kick, scissors kick, um, volley as I said, I, I think even a scorpion kick will count as a volley so there's no worries with that one at all. Um, now to try and score a volley you genuinely just have to time it, you have to cross the ball into the box using square on the Playstation or X on the Xbox and you have to time it. Don't press it too early cause out, or else you'll header it, you need to try and time it until the ball is in the air and you can get it on your foot you know. Can be a little bit challenging but at the same time I mean it is what it is, there's no like you know easy way around it. It. You've got score four goals using midfielders, so that's a cam, a left mid, right mid, um, that's it, centre mid CDM obviously, but you know, centre mid CDMs aren't really attacking, so you're going to be wanting a, a cam or a right mid, left mid formation, win four matches in a live foot friendly, and score in ten separate matches in a live foot friendly, the chosen one. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and have a look at the chosen one uh, objectives, now it does, I don't know why into the squad builders, um, or, or the, uh, yeah, the squad building challenges, but you go to play friendlies and it'll be play online hopefully it doesn't kick me out today because i know sometimes it does let's have a look where is it here it is the chosen one so clubs at most one so you can only use at most one club um it is a classic match 85 and higher overall players at most one so you can only have one player 85 plus and exactly zero players interesting so you're gonna have to choose a team and you're gonna have to use just one club for it that is very, very interesting. See, now, first of all, what I would do, I'll get into the squad builder with a club I think you should use in a second, but personally, see, I would use an Arsenal squad because, I mean, I'm an Arsenal fan, but also because I've got loads of Arsenal players in my uh, in my club. So if I have a look at Arsenal players, as you can see, I've got a pretty solid base with my Arsenal players. So I'll chuck all of them in and go from there, right? Obviously, I'm not going to say you guys do Arsenal because, I mean, like, lots of you wouldn't have done moments of Bam Yang. I've only done all of this because I am an Arsenal fan, yeah? So um, we'll get into the squad builder but first of all let's check your club for you know players you might have you could check wolves players i, I doubt you'll have wolves enough wolves players but you could check like some some solid teams and see see what team like you know what players you have in your club united i know united have a lot of special cards and just go down that route you know um so first of all before you get into the squad builder make sure to check your club and see which players you have from more you know from, from one club Right boys, so the team, after a little bit of looking at, you know, what I think is the best team to go with, we've decided to go for Barcelona. Now, you don't have to choose Barcelona, but I think these guys have some of the most meta players. Um, obviously, if you do have a higher budget, you could go for, like, maybe a Dembele and play him at right forward over Brainways, but obviously we have to stay within that 30, 35,000 coin budget. Now, as you can see, make sure you've got the bench done as well, lads. Um, it doesn't clarify if it has to be the bench or not, but I would assume that you'd want to have the bench full of Barcelona players as well now remember you can only have one player 85 rated or over and that one player we've gone for is Pierre Emerick Aubameyang um very good card very very good card I mean six foot two four star four star we all know he's been meter on FIFA good pace good shooting He's going to be your man, and he's going to be your main guy that you want to try and score with. You've then got Brainweight in the midfield here. Now, with this Coutinho Barcelona card, we all know he's an Aston Villa now, um, and he's got his Aston Villa card, but he does still have his Barcelona card on the market. So when you are buying this Coutinho, make sure you buy his Barcelona version, and you do not buy his Aston Villa version. Um, his Barcelona version is, as I said, it should only be like a little... All right, so as you can see, his Barcelona card is 3,000 coins, um, and his Aston Villa one 
one is 900 coins. So make sure you buy his Barcelona card. Now, if you guys are watching this and maybe people are buying his Barcelona card and you've run out of time to be able to get it, you could simply just move Pedri up to Cam and then put, uh, this, uh, I'm probably going to butcher this name, put him down at CDM and then try to look for another Barcelona player for the bench, all right? That, that's what you're going to have to do if he's no more on the market. But Vera is currently, like, I think maybe 10, 20 on the market. Um, so people, you know, might have him in the club. They might list him. So try to get on to that quickly. Left mid and sl left wing slash right wing playing in the left mid slash right mid positions. We've gone for Ansu Fati, very meta card with Ferran Torres on the right side. CDM, we have gone for Pedri. Left back, now we are quite limited here because the only, like, you know, solid left back is Jordi Alba and he is uh, out of our budget. So we've gone for Danny Alves off of chemistry. You could go for Suji Roberto if you want, but Danny Alves, I believe, is, yeah, I mean, it's Danny Alves, right? How can you deny using a Danny Alves card? He's a new card. He's quite fun. Plus, I do think he's less expensive than the Suji Roberto card. Uh, our two center backs, we've gone for Orejo and uh, Minguiza, probably butchering that. But, I mean, two solid center backs, to be fair, 77 and 78 pace will get the job done. Right back, we've gone for Dest, and in net, we have gone for Neto. Obviously, for the bench as well, if you are wanting to full the bench out, you can just do gold, low to high Barcelona players. And if you do run out of gold Barcelona players to use on a bench, you have to go down to the silvers. Um, silvers will be a lot more expensive, but you've got plenty of players to work with. So this is a squad probably coming in at roughly 30,000 coins at the minute. Now, heading into the tips, lads, tip number one is simply going to be golden goal. If you guys don't know what golden goal is, it's an unspoken community rule. If you score first, your opponent will pause and quit. And if you concede a goal first, you'll pause and quit. Now, if you are doing golden goal, do not celebrate. Do not pause for your opponent. If they want to pause, they'll pause and quit. Um, it's one of those things that just speeds it up so much for everyone involved. Now, if you are someone that does want to be doing this golden goal uh, unspoken rule, simply change your team name to golden goal. Remember, you do not have to. It's not against the rules if you don't want to. But in my opinion, I do recommend it because it does speed up the process a lot so make your team name golden goal so when you do load into the team uh or load into the game they'll see your team name and i'll be like all right sweet and this dude's doing golden goal i am too happy days now tip number two lads is going to be chemistry styles we head on over to the footbin view here by the way these hero cards look absolutely sick if we head on over to the footbin view here um let's take who are we going to take for example let's take ansu fatty for example now i'm not sponsored by footbin or anything like that i'm just simply using these guys as an example but as you can see ansu and Sufeti. 800 coins on the PlayStation, uh, 750 on the Xbox, and as you can see here, you can try different chemistry styles on him. By the way, I can all the ads, lads. I, I need to try and get something or like buy Footbin Premium to get rid of the ads because they are annoying. Um, but you can try different chemistry styles on him. For example, a marksman gives him plus seven shooting, plus eight dribbling, plus five physical. And as you can see right here, it says in game he's an 81 rated left wing, right? So although he's 76 rated, chuck a chemistry style on him, and he's gonna to perform five ratings above his actual base rating so he's a 76 rated card but with a marksman he'll perform like an 81 rated card you don't have to go and buy hunters for your attackers and shadows for your defenders but simply search your club for you know chemistry styles usually you have some left over and if are 200 coins a piece chuck them on maybe a finisher on Aubameyang uh, a hawk on brainweight maybe like a, uh, a maestro on Coutinho a hawk on Ansu Fati and Ferran Torres, um, an injured on Pedri, and then just Sentinels on your defenders. And the difference between your team and your opponent's team might just be the fact that you've got those chemistry styles on them. So, lads, this is a team we've gone for. Um, obviously, this is nothing towards, like, you know, you don't have to use a Barcelona team. Um, now, I know lots of Barca fans won't like me using this example, but you could use Real Madrid as well if you want. Um, they've also, they're also a team with lots of gold rare meta players. Like, you've got Vinicius, you've got Nacho, Rodrigo, Camavinga. Um, you've got their Vallejo who's probably usable stuff like that so you can just choose a team and go from there lads hopefully this did help you out we'll go over the objectives one more time give you guys my tips and tricks just to you know clarify make sure we've got it all right so remember the game mode you can only have at most one club so be wary of that so you have got the uh, score two volleys in the live foot friendly self-explanatory score four goals using midfielders which is going to be your Coutinho or your Pedri your right wing and left wing and Sufati and Ferran Torres played on at, at right mid and left mid will not count um, unless you do position um, modify them from right wing to right mid etc so you can do that win four matches and score in 10 separate matches using golden goal if you guys did enjoy it's been your boy davis and i'll see you guys later